My name is Katrina Brubaker. I'm here at Linear Tech working on my core classes, wanting to eventually transfer to UNG and work on my music education degree. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> the song I've chosen is called Born Again by Josh Garrels. A little bit about Josh Garrels, he's actually from Indiana. I'm from Illinois, so we're probably blue neighbors. Uh, he actually dedicated his life to God in his early 20s, and that really, uh, I can really totally relate to. Um, as that exactly happened to me and has a huge major influence on who I am today and who I'm going to be in the future. Um, he's married to his beautiful wife, Michelle, and they have three kids, Heron, Poppy, and Shepherd. I like the original names, it's different. Uh, and they currently reside in Portland, Oregon. His music is kind of indie worship, but he doesn't really come out and say that's what it is, it's just I think he wants to stay neutral on that, and I, I can see why. Um, the song, again, is called Born Again by Josh Garrels. And when I first heard the song, I was going through a really tough time in my life. I was um, homeless at one point, and I have really had to just work for myself. And that's just who I've always been. Um, in the first verse, Josh is saying, I had to learn to get what I need in the dark empty. And it really reminded me of how I had to learn to provide for myself and just realizing the, the world wasn't what I thought it was. And, and it isn't as nice as I thought it was. Um, the next part speaks about how he gave into his desires, lost control. And and not only did he lose control in, I guess, like everyday life, but in his heart, in his soul, he goes into depth about that. Um, and he felt as though he was fading away. I relate to this really in a spiritual level. Um, it reminded me of when I was living for my desires and I was just depressed and miserable and I just didn't know what my purpose was in life. Um, at the end of the first verse, he says that he's ready to feel the power of change. And that's, that really hit me because I remember that one turning point in my life and in 2016 where I was just like, I'm ready now. I'm ready to make the change and just follow God. Um, the chorus, of course, reminds the listener of how we are human and how our parents and their past affect us. But it also reminds us that our time to be born again has come. And looking at who my family is and where they come from definitely has um, a shadow on my life and just knowing that that's in the past and that's their past that I have the option of being different. That is just huge to me. Um, in the second verse, he says that he is running scared in between what he hates and what he needs. I did not know what that was either. Um, running back and forth to people and things who demanded my attention but really just sucked the life out of me. Um, Josh talks about how the savior and enemy are trying to take his soul. That is something that I experience every day as a human. I mean, from the minute I get up to the moment I'm in bed. That's just the everyday battle. We're constantly being pulled one way or another. One way is good and the other way is bad. Um, when he says that he raised his fist up to fight, that's who, that's the best part. It reminded me of how we are always looking for someone to blame for what is happening to us and around us. But then he mentions that he catches the eye of God so full of love and realizes how he was upset at the wrong person the whole time. He begins to cry, fully understanding the love of the father who sent his son to die for all of the monsters and men. I hope you enjoy this as much as I did.